What is up guys, Safe Spot here, and last night we got our first information about the first DLC weapon to come to Advanced Warfare. In an article here they say, Havoc, the first DLC pack for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is set to release early next year. This pack will come out with an all new weapon, the AE-4 Direct Energy Assault Rifle. The AE-4 combines a versatile fire mechanism with all around movement, speed, and handling. In addition to the base weapon, the AE-4 Widowmaker custom variant will also be included. Now I'm going to try to get these images up for you guys to see, uh, so you guys can see them. There's two weapons here, uh, but it goes on to say, as a bonus to Xbox Season Pass holders, you'll receive an early access to the AE-4 and AE-4 Widowmaker starting December 11th. Don't worry if you'll be receiving the Season Pass during the holidays or any time before the DLC comes out, then you'll be able to get instant access to this weapon. Now, I don't know if the PlayStation people get it, uh, January 11th, a month after the Xbox people do, because they have that, Microsoft has that deal with Activision or Call of Duty, uh, to get the DLC early, so I don't know if they get it a month after, I hope they do, but, uh, but it is say up here that it is an assault rifle, so the only directed energy or laser energy weapons that we have in the game right now are in heavy weapons, and they don't really perform very well at all. So hopefully they'll be, um, hopefully it won't be underpowered, uh, it won't be overpowered either. Hopefully it'll be just balanced right and, uh, be a good weapon. Now this should be better than the heavy weapon just because it has the attributes of an assault rifle, has the aim down sight speed that's faster than the heavy weapons, and also the movement speed. So that, that's right there is, um, uh, is better than the heavy weapons in my opinion because I hate how slow you move with heavy weapons. But the question is... Is this going to be a single shot weapon or is it going to be fully automatic? It does say it has a versatile firing mechanism, so it could be both maybe. I'm not sure. That'd be nice. Maybe single shot for long range. It switches uh, its attributes like the Ripper from last year. It'd be like a marksman rifle and assault rifle together instead of assault rifle and submachine gun. So we'll have to wait to see for that. But I will be covering this weapon the day it comes out on a guns of the game episode so stay tuned for that you guys can tell me what you think about this weapon down in the comments subscribe for more information and i'll see you guys later peace